Upon receiving your Dorner conveyor, unpack all items and make sure all required parts are included. The required tools for installation include 4 and 5 mm hex wrenches, a flathead screwdriver, and a wrench. First, arrange the conveyor sections that you'll be connecting. Slide the lower vertical wear strips into the connecting frame piece. Attach the J-leg wear strips and the top clip-on wear strips. Slide the clamp plate into place and tighten the screws to 84 pounds or 9 newton meters. Then repeat on the other side of the conveyor. To install the stand bracket, insert a nut into the conveyor side slot, as seen here, and fasten the bracket to the conveyor with a mounting screw. Attach the T-bars, washers, and mounting screws to the support stand. Attach the support stand to the bracket. Tighten the mounting screw and repeat these steps at the other stand locations. Position the belt on the frame. Ensure that the belt tracks through the conveyor frame smoothly. For the high strength bearing chain, the rounded ends of the slots on the edge should be pointing away from the belt flow. Wrap the belt around the idler tail. Install the belt around the lower frame section and above the lower wear strips. For the weighted take-up, wrap the belt over the pucks. Continue around the bottom of the weighted shaft and over the top of the next pucks and then onto the top of the J-leg wear strips. Wrap the belt around the drive end of the conveyor, making sure that the sprocket teeth have engaged the belt. Insert a pin to connect the belt links. And use a flathead screwdriver to lock the tab into place. If you need to remove a link from the belt, use a flathead screwdriver to turn the tab and remove it. Repeat on the other side, and then push the pin out. Repeat on the next link, remove the link, and then replace the pin and tabs.
If the drive cover is installed, unscrew the socket head screws from both sides and remove the drive cover. Ensure the square key is in place on the drive output shaft. Attach the drive assembly with two M8 screws and tighten. Tighten the screws. Then install the four M6 screws and tighten. Make sure the key is in place and install the driven pulley. Tighten the driven pulley's taper lock screws. Wrap the timing belt around the driven pulley and drive pulley. Use the timing belt tensioner to tension the timing belt and tighten with a wrench. Use a straight edge to confirm that the drive pulley is aligned with the driven pulley. Install the drive cover with four screws and tighten. To mount the controller, install the T-bars into the T-slot of the stand and attach the plates with screws. Attach the controller with two socket head screws and tighten. The conveyor is now ready to be plugged in and tested, ensuring smooth operation.